वेलकम आप सभी का स्वागत है अभी ये हमारे इस सीरीज का तीसरा लेक्चर है तो तो इस लेक्चर में हम आज विल सी हाउ द बेस्ट प्रैक्टिसेस विल हेल्प इन साइबर सिक्योरिटी दीज बेस्ट प्रैक्टिसेस आर बेस्ड ऑन द गाइडलाइंस इश्यूड बाय शर्टिन एजेंसी ऑफ इंडिया and various other government organizations some of them has built their own security best practice so let's understand what is the best thing to practice it because uh, the practice will make you the uh, safe environment in your organization in your uh, home system so let's move on this is the way we will proceed in this lecture we will try to understand what is sensitive information and then we will go for the key lessons for corporations and individuals to be practiced in various categories and last we will see how to respond for threats let's go on what is considered a sensitive information the information uh, which is supposed to be protected because the leak is can compromise the government missions or individual interests and this has like uh, controlled technical information there is something like uh, the configuration part of your uh, software hardware or uh, the documents related to the progress of uh, the project second is the personality of individual as i yesterday lecture also have explained that there is something like uh, your id card your code number which can uh, clearly identify that this person is uh, this photo your photo or other things protected health information uh, like uh, if you are having some disease which have uh, impact or severity of your uh, body or health so what we can do is to keep uh, protecting that information because when you are in some critical missions that information may be a key factor for destroying the mission uh, same way the financial information the capacity of uh, purchase power of individual which gives a framework or uh, a, a way to categorize uh, individual person whether he is he could be targeted or he could not be targeted basically the financial information will lead the terrorists or the attackers to keep you in the list of uh, uh, whether you are in the top list or you have to be uh, leaved personal or payroll information uh, like how many kids you are having or where they are studying your know, personal uh, details uh, that is being used by various organizations inherently for uh, targeting individuals and getting the information of organization via the employee for office use uh, only the documents or some uh, official communication which is only for meant for office such information should not be disclosed or shared with unknown people or uh, controlled unclassified informations and proprietary data related to some project some flight including the machine gun which you are using or uh, related to your uh, uh, it can lead to a disaster an example of such sensitive information includes data or information that provides uh, by a confidential source person commercial business or foreign government with the condition that it should not be released so such information is meant for not releasing or not for uh, making it public uh, but sometimes when it happens this disaster may come it's not always true that you share your information about your birthday 
and uh, that can lead to some uh, some attack but it is possible that if you share your information and uh, uh, maybe your uh, birth date is the year is common birth year is common in your facebook record and which is visible publicly then you share your information about your birthday celebration then he can or individual can identify that your exact birth date is this month this date and this year which can lead to the uh, sensitive information for your id card maybe for your uh, pan card income tax return and lot of things so many times we are not knowing that this information is very crucial or very uh, uh, critical and because we are uh, not thinking in that way for business and healthcare organizations example of this type of information uh, which is called sensitive information for health in organizations it is like customers uh, name address phone number employee or not uh, financial records the account information user credentials and passwords patient medical records and health related information medicare or insurance information uh, in many uh, movies you would have seen but in uh, it's not limited to only movies that when your insurance is insurance is high then your chances of targeting is also high so it's not only is uh, in uh, social media or uh, movies it's there in practically in life also so having such uh, information released in public will attract the uh, various consequences so such information categories are called sensitive information so here i have explained about the medical personal and official documents let's try to understand the key lessons of corporates and individuals we have included only hand picked lessons here uh, we deem that beneficial of the to a general audience so protecting against malicious code these uh, best practices we will continue one by one protection against malicious code if there is scan all external files before uploading them to your computer if there is something uh, malicious code included in your document and the document is copied to your system your computer then that code can continue scanning all your documents in your system and uh, sensitive information may be acquired and sent to the user or the target which is trying to uh, steal the information so you have to be careful while copying any data to your system first scan it maybe antivirus or anything you can use for scanning and don't access the website links buttons graphic uh, or suspected emails which we have already explained earlier if you are suspecting any email to be malicious or unknown unauthorized sender then uh, you should uh, request some personal sensitive information and contact your security point and help desk to assistance recently we have seen that uh, various advertisements are coming for uh, Uh, Diwali festivation. So that advertisement includes a small link behind this uh, big screen or big photo. If you click on the photo, that link will be activated. So better whenever such emails are received from any, uh, whether it's any chocolate advertisement or any other or any uh, scheme related thing, you should be very careful while clicking on these emails. Better if the email is not meant for you, you should not open it. but it's not like always you should discard all those things the key point is you should not click on the links knowingly or unknowingly so once the email is opened you can just go through that and just go through that if there is any uh, mouse click in the during the scanning you should be careful so better you can go through that and delete the mail when it is not relevant or not meant for you if uh, uh, you are person or official uh, laptop or pc mobile is being used for any research application then you should be very careful uh, and scan the vulnerabilities before downloading any uh, information on that uh, system emails should be used as plain text most of the time so that the emails links are not active 
and such options are available in various email servers. Otherwise, case also you should avoid clicking on the links. And sometimes you are forwarding the emails to another person. And many times we are intimating the controller that uh, this is the problem or this is the email, which is not meant for me, but it has been received by me. So while forwarding such emails, also you should be careful that uh, that all the related information should be deleted. Digital uh, signatures are considered security benchmark for uh, emails. It's highly recommended. Best practices for protecting sex sensitive information, which we have already explained that uh, what is sensitive information. So there are best practices like when you are texting the sensitive information, ensure that the recipient at the receiving end is available and his contact is confirmed. Many times when you send a sensitive information via fax, which is urgent, but there is nobody available on the fax machine at the receiving end, that may be uh, read, read by any other person, which is not uh, related to that. That may be disclosure of information. So this is the way. And second thing is like the most commonly reported cause of personal information breach is failure to encrypt the email message. So the, that is part of email server. You have to ensure that when you open the email, it should be HTTPS and uh, detailed signatures or this clearly identifiable signatures available in the email to confirm that the sender is the person who is written in the email. Avoid storing sensitive information in uh, shared folders. Many times we keep SharePoints, Google Documents and upload the things in the Google Drive. So those things are uh, very sensitive information should not be kept in such a way. It should not go, never it should go from your organizations outside any network. Never use personal and email accounts for transmitting personal information. Uh, store sensitive data only authorized information system and don't transmit, store or process confidential information in a non-authorized systems. Uh, following your organization's policy concerning the uh, retention disposal sensitive information, like after how much time you can disclose or uh, dispose the information. So there should be clear cut policy in your organization and you have to follow that. Mobile devices may be hacked or infected with malware. So always use mobile device approved by your organization and follow your organization's policies for using the mobile devices. We are facing various threats. Uh, what we have discussed most of the time is we spent more than uh, 70 to 80 percent of the time while discussing about the threats, attacks, or information security in organizations and personal life. We always target that the, there is somebody external who will try to steal the information from us or our organization. But we forget that there is possibility of insider threats, which are most prominent, and uh, this is most of the time it has been neglected to think about the insider threats. The term insider threat are refers to the situation when employee themselves initially maybe from the it is intentionally or intentionally maybe due to some reason uh, it is meant for leaking the data or executing a cyber crime against the organization you can't rule out the possibility of insider threats because employees have tons of information readily available to them and their fingertips so these are the most dangerous threats uh, and uh, it has to be very carefully dealt with. Observe uh, them as assess uh, and assess them whether they are showing an uncommon or uh, concerning behavior, such as there is somebody showing hostile behavior and vindictive or criminal behavior or uh, taking unusual uh, or excessive interest in sensitive information, indicating unexplained or sudden Affluence by purchase of high value items, uh, living beyond the one's means, or attempting to access or remove sensitive information without need to know. So, need to know is the key point where most of the organization can safeguard themselves. The need to know basis information sharing is the best practice part in the organizations, and many sensitive organizations follow this. So, there may be somebody in your organization, your friend. You may be taking, uh, for an example, you may be taking uh, tea, coffee, and talking or discussing something on in a general way. 
but sometimes you will find that somebody is repeatedly asking you something which uh, which you are working on but he is nowhere related to that many times he is related to only part of that so when he is asking intentionally something you should be careful so such information has to be uh, shared when the need to know basis there are additional steps you can take to prevent or uh, limit the impact of insider threats by performing organization wise assessment creating and enforcing the data use policy implementing the principle of least privilege to limit employees access to only necessary information periodically reviewing the access list and remove the access immediately for employees to quit or has been relieved from the organizations sometimes we forget to um, remove the credentials of individual who has left the organization so that has to be repeatedly and concerningly has to be executed use the security information and event management tool which i have explained in my last lecture yesterday that such uh, tools will give us the picture complete picture of uh, the threat movement or the log management so that will help us to identify the individual actions of an employee and how they have access the information best practice for physical security of workplace uh, this was also explained that uh, physical security is the key point if the individual is having access to your hardware or your system or your server room then the security which you have put by a firewall or by online devices may not be uh, protecting your system at that point of time some uh, walk in or visitors uh, might be spying even dropping or looking for a chance to steal the important data from the files and from systems so you must be vigilant about your workplace security too that means don't talk about uh, work customer company's policy regarding marketing technology attacks outside the workplace you might uh, unintentionally leak some information you may may not be intended to tell something to the uh, individual who is coming or visiting but it happens like some discussion starts and you start sharing some information to them so that must not be uh, go out even inside a closed work environment be careful when discussing sensitive information such as personal information of something or personal health information of something somebody in your organization as people uh, uh, without need to know basis uh, may prevent uh, present around you so they may not be required the information which you are trying to share to them but once they share to them they may get interest and they may be interested to know more about it so be aware of people even stopping and listening here by roaming here by when you are retrieving uh, when they are trying to retrieve some message from smartphones or some other media many times we see that we are in organizations and uh, we are seeing doing something in our mobile and there is somebody sitting behind us and he is seeing what we are doing in our mobile so such information uh, is unintentionally left open for public to see or view so if it is sensitive information if you are doing something um, which is uh, you are typing some letter or something very crucial to organization you are changing or discussing about the policy changes then you should be careful that who is around you and what they are listening that key factor here is which you can keep eye on is like sometimes somebody comes in your meeting to serve you tea coffee this is the key points which i am trying to explain to you many times we miss those things and we think it is normal and it is part of our organization but uh, many times the people are interested to know which is not supposed to be disclosed and uh, always lock your office cabins uh, drawers if they have any files papers containing uh, sensitive information this is a part of uh, physical security at your place best practice for portable devices especially removable media Uh, when we think about a portable device removal media it is a major security threat for business and government organizations they are easy to use and convenient to uh, higher risk and also to carry malwares uh, many times we find some pen drives in a nearby our uh, premises of campus or uh, nearby our organizations nearby gate or on the way to outside these pen drives uh, sometimes may be intentionally kept for uh, for spying on your organizations 
because once you pick up them and you try to see what is inside them, whether it is usable or not, in that case, you have to plug it in the organization system or in your personal system from where they can start the malware spread and they can get what the information network structure or whatever activities you are doing in your PC. So be careful while you are uh, uh, inserting any unknown media in your systems. This type of media includes fast drives, thumb drives, memory sticks, flash drives, and external hard drives, optical disks, and external music players like iPods. So what we can, we can do to protect the organization in such cases, only you use the removable media store work-related data when optionally, uh, operationally it is necessary owned by your own or or organization. So when the pen drives have to be used in organization, you should uh, make it a policy that there is some identified number of uh, pen drives or uh, shareable uh, media like your uh, external hard drive. So uh, keep count of them, identify them, number them, uniquely identify them, and then use them for specifically meant for this operational use. There should not be any external uh, and uh, suddenly available free pen drives which you are just asking somebody and trying to use in your system. Encrypt the data appropriately whenever storing in the, in the removal media. So, so that, that whenever the media is lost, the device drive is lost also, your data is not easily accessible. Not use any personally owned or uh, non-organizations uh, removal media to store your organization's data. Sometimes you use our personal pen drives to keep the office uh, information. And once it is, we are on the tour or somewhere in the market or somewhere in with the relatives, it has been asked that, okay, share the, I will share you some movie or some uh, new song or something. Then you give your pen drive to them. And uh, knowingly, unknowingly, they just want to remove some space, keep some space in your pen drive, and they keep your data and copy it to their own system. So the organization's information has been uh, lost in such a way, which can be again further uh, spread. So such way of leakage of sensitive information can also happen. Avoid inserting removal media with unknown contents uh, into your computer. Many times the unknown contents are containing the mal malwares, which are auto spreading in the network. And follow your organization's policy for sanitizing, purging, discarding, and destroying the removal media. Most of the time, removal media related to any third party is not returned back from the sensitive organizations. So if you are uh, having some device where the sensitive logs are kept, um, sensitive data is kept, then while removing or uh, returning back that device, you have to keep the hard disk of that device in your organization itself. So laptops and mobile devices also should be uh, you should be having credentials also saved in your uh, laptops, like your login password, Gmail login password. You mostly uh, try it once, and once you are uh, logged in, you will keep saving, prefer to save in the browser. So such things are uh, kept in your uh, personal mobile. Uh, it's OK. But sometimes we keep that uh, in your office mobile, and personal, personal information is being shared in the office. Here, there are both way possibility of exploring uh, your personal data leakage to organizations people or organizations data leakage to personal people. So both way it has to be protected. Just by hacking or stealing such device, the cyber crime uh, can execute dangerous attacks. That's why handing over uh, the mobile or laptop carefully is a crucial step. Consider screen uh, protecting if you are using laptop or mobile device and doing office work in public places. Because the screen protection will allow uh, protection of data in a particular uh, look angle. So when somebody is peeping from beside or the, from a particular angle, he will not be able to see what you are seeing in your screen. And second point is power of the device if you are not using uh, in immediate future. Because many times we leave the system on and password also logged in, so it is free to open and copy that information. Enable automatic screen locking after a period of inactivity. Encrypt all sensitive data in laptop and mobile. Always maintain visual or physical control over the laptop, mobile devices, especially when you're going through airport security check-in center. 
use it uh, public or free wi-fi has to be very carefully taken up uh, if you are using any free wi-fi try to use your vpn so that you are securely connected and there is encryption started from your system itself and nobody in the middle name can access the uh, information nowadays there is additional uh, one more thing i have not noted here uh, many times you will find that there is usb charger available in public place so when you are feeling that your mobile has not been charged or your device laptop is not fully charged you will try to put your uh, probably your own cable usb cable and plug in that usb port those ports are highly uh, probable of having the malware already ready to be inserted in your device so what you can do is to safeguard this process never use the usb ports better you can use your own charger and by using your own charger in power plug then you can start charging your device you should be vigilant whenever possible tips to home security uh, personal computers do contain uh, automatic login facility most of the time email address social media sites applications financial institution sites and these all logins are save, saved in your browser uh, hence the employee must be aware of how to protect your own home, com home computer the tips are uh, following for derived from national security agency guidelines always use strong passwords in your home computer also create separate account for each user if the same system is being used by multiple user in your home try to uh, have separate logins for them and keep them allow them to keep their own passwords install the system security updates patches and keep your defense system especially antivirus spyware and all ready regularly scan files and virus for viruses and change default login ids and passwords uh, for operating system and applications regular uh, backup and uh, securely store your files backing up uh, if it is sensitive files then you should backup in your portable hard drive in encrypt with encryption if it is non sensitive and you still you want to keep them somewhere then you can upload to google drive so while ever uh, whenever you are doing the backup you have to be careful about which type of files has to be uh, backed up so be aware of a sudden flashing of pop-ups warning that your, your computer is infected with virus most of the time uh, if you are using some uh, browsing some website suddenly you will get a pop-up that this website is infected with virus and that pop up will come uh, out of the window and you it will be asked for uh, asking for clicking you you want antivirus or you want to scan or something there may be timer in that so such things are really meant for prompting you to click on the uh, buttons which are below the pop up the objective of them is to when once you click them it is in inside of that code is written that you are accepting to install something so once you say or click on something that that uh, auto download will start and small patch file will be uh, dumped in your system which will be starting again malware activities so what is the best thing you can do you have to uh, just close that window or sometimes close the browser itself let's uh, go for the online behavior tips outside the workplace while employee can't necessarily control uh, what their employees do so their personal time but uh, they can be educated about how dangerous the social media is and how we can safeguard yourself from the social media and online platforms so this is the way while we can just guide the employees as a employer as a organization we can uh, help them to understand what uh, security breaches they may come across additionally guidelines uh, on the best practices while surfing online could also be practiced so awareness is the key for organizational safety especially for uh, internal uh, threats be aware of information uh, your uh, when you post online about yourself your family as i just explained about the facebook or your birthday celebration so it might be used you know, to guess the passwords many times like your family members name your date of birth or your vehicle details your pen numbers uh, such any many many of such things could be used for uh, hacking your uh, passwords so sending uh, while facing mails and identity theft uh, are the 
email example which was given in the first lecture. Uh, create a strong password and try to have two factor authorization or multi factor authorization if available. Be aware of uh, links for games, quizzes, and applications uh, available through social networking websites. Uh, there might be certain malicious codes to manipulate uh, and share your login credentials uh, and other ses uh, sensitive information. Do not post on any confidential information about your organizations, colleagues, customers, or social networking sites. No matter what privacy setting you have uh, set on your accounts. That indicates like if you have saved your details, correct details in your Facebook account. The uh, Facebook account person, uh, especially if somebody is able to hack uh, your account, he may be easily confirm that your uh, login uh, credentials, uh, then he will be able to identify what are the things you have kept hidden in public also will be visible to him. And once that is done, there is no need to have second attack. So these are the things we should uh, be careful. This is the organization's structure which I have uh, explained yesterday. And responding to cyber attacks is the our uh, last point. Why we need to respond to the cyber attacks? The responding is the second part. We should try to have first avoid the cyber attacks. So if you are doing the best practices following them and always understand that there is no uh, one policy or one set of uh, instructions which can safeguard you everywhere. As I just explained that uh, uh, if you are in an airport or you are in uh, some public place in some conference hall, your uh, mobile is showing that battery is less and uh, there is some cable hanging out with the USB connected. Then uh, it's easy. We are we are automatically being prompted to connect that uh, uh, USB cable to our mobile or laptop for charging. So such things will be easily prompted. If you are starting that, if you connect to that, there is highly probability that it is having malware which is transferred via USB to your device, and then to keep uh, uh, keep hiding itself and keep spreading in everywhere in your uh, devices. The same device when it is connected to your office network, then it will copy to your office PC also. So what we have to do once it happens, we have to be ready for a plan. Notify all your customers, employees, and other whose data may be at risk. Then keep a business operations up and running. You should have alternate plans, like uh, in case of your main website of organization has been uh, compromised. In that case, you should have a backup of the website ready, which can be deployed in the alternate systems and the same systems, alternate systems after screening and uh, complete uh, testing, they could be posted online. The reporting of attack to low enforcement, uh, law information, uh, law enforcement uh, agency and other authorities. That happens when you are uh, uh, having the uh, well established policy. So in case of any attack, whom to report first, then from that person where it has to be proceed till the highest agency is well informed about the attack. Many times we avoid informing those uh, critical attacks to sometimes uh, public or uh, sometimes to especially the government agencies and uh, try to hide those information. That has multiple uh, effects basically. First of the uh, the loss it happens is for your own organization that you are not aware that how to respond or how to best way to respond to that attack. Once you inform that to the global agency, they will maybe lay down some procedure to uh, to sort out that problem. So first thing what we lose is by not informing that to proper law agency is by uh, losing the proper respond process. Second thing is, as the, uh, the attack is not known to the global agencies, then that is highly probability that that uh, same type of attack will be repeated in your own organization at somewhere else or some other organizations of government of India. So better to have proper information sharing to the concerned people, not to all, all the people, to concerned people so that they can have a best, best plan and respond. Then uh, investigation 
and uh, containing of the attack. The investigation part is to identify from where it started and how we are uh, trying to uh, control that. So to control that, uh, most of the time, uh, the first thing what you can do is to remove it from the network. But uh, in case of uh, attacks which are meant for uh, uh, meant, meant for encrypting your data, they will start encrypting your data because they are already connected and started the activity. So removing the network cable also will not help you. And such cases you have to shut down your systems. Updating your cybersecurity policy and plans uh, with lessons learned. Once some execution happens in your organization, you should update and learn how to improve the existing policy. Preparing for inadvertent uh, events like weather emergencies that may put data at risk. So most of the time you should have a, a well-planned strategy of uh, uh, loss of data, sometimes fire incidents or some other uh, natural incidents, how to respond. And then you should keep testing your plans. Most of the time we make the plans in very sophisticated way, very uh, we test it very properly at the time of making it. But once when that uh, document is ready, we keep the document in shelf and we forget to practice them regularly. So at the time of emergency, when it is to be executed, many of the time uh, we people are shifted somewhere or they are not knowing at what are the steps written in the documents. So we will not have time to read them at that point of time. The better thing is to keep regularly updating that and uh, keep your plan regularly tested. In case uh, the attack is completed or they have done it, what is the thing we can do is to repair and restore the equipments and parts of your network that were affected. Before doing all these things, you should have a complete backup of the infected system also. In case you have to redo the postmortem activity, you can have a proper set. Then second point is the keep employees and customers informed of your response and recovery activities so that they are confident and they are not lose they are not losing the confidence of uh, your uh, confidence on your organization that uh, you are not responding or you are not responding properly so keeping them informed especially about the government organizations then you should keep employees also informed that this are the incident happened and we are in this process by this time we will be ready with our alternate options so these were the key points which i have explained about uh, the uh, attack vectors and how to uh, rectify them by using best practices. The field of cybersecurity, IT security is very wide and it is continuously changing. So we, what we read in our physics, chemistry, mathematics and other things, they are all implied and sometimes being directly or indirectly implemented in cybersecurity. But uh, it is not limited to the thing what we have already learned. The major problem happens is the continuously movement and changing with new devices with new data range uh, like 5G has come. So there is highly uh, easy to attack uh, many uh, organizations now uh, by sitting at remote location in some other country where uh, we don't have approach or sometimes they have more advanced softwares. In last 10 years, uh, uh, we will be uh, having uh, something which is considered as the supercomputer, but now that same speed is available in our laptops. So there's this, this continuously growing uh, technological development is giving us more security uh, breach possibilities. So we should be ready for them. And accordingly, we should al also keep updating ourselves, keep practicing, uh, improving and learning. With that, uh, thank you. And if you have time for your questions, you can prepare your questions. We'll answer in a minute.